Morning my friends, um, I'm going to make a video, a uh, like and a dislike video on my lawnmower. So um, let's go ahead and uh, I thought the dislikes will be more than the likes. But when I make the, li the list, the likes is actually more than the dislikes. Okay, let's have a look. Okay guys, here is the machine. This is a trim tech. Trimtech is the lawnmower with a Torx XT140A machine, 140cc with 6.5 newton meters of torque. Okay, so the, let's start with the, with the likes. What I like about this machine, it's now two years old with very little hours on. So but the first thing is it's a four stroke. Uh, you can see there overhead cam. Or valve machine so I like that my previous machine was a two-stroke that I have for close to 30 years a good runner everything but I was uh, it was time for a four-stroke <clears throat> okay so this is point number one that I like and that go with it is a low-end torque on the machine and then um, the other thing I like, that's now the body, uh, it's a pressed steel body and not an aluminium body. Um, this is much more durable for stones and so on than uh, if you heat a hard a stone, very hard, it fly right through this old aluminium style bodies. So this is a plus point for me. Other thing is I've got good suction, no problem for the grass to go into the, the box. And then uh, it pull very easy, very light on the on the handle to pull. Um, and then uh, the last thing is um, is actually a very important one for me, and that is the oil, the oil dipstick is uh, for me it's a it's a true true reading if you click it open you get <coughs> immediately your your correct reading there but nevertheless uh, all my experiences with other machines <coughs> is um, there's normally an air bubble, or it's easy for an air bubble to sit there and you get the wrong reading. You need to, to let the motor turn over once or twice and then you can uh, get the right reading. That's, that's my, my experience uh, with this one. At any time you can take it off and you get the right reading. So this is a, a big plus for me. Okay, now for for the dislikes on this machine, and the, the biggest one of all is it is very noisy. Um, this is uh, a new generation type of motor, and uh, it is very 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 noisy for me. I don't like it whatsoever. Uh, I know some other machines, well-known brands, is um, very quiet. This machine is not a neighbor, a neighbor friendly machine. Um, I will start it now for you. In any case, you can hear. They could really make something better with the exhaust pipe. Really noisy. And the other very frustrating thing was the idling setting. So currently, you can see it's on. Uh, it is on shutdown. Um, what actually happened is um, when, it, when you pull the throttle down to idle, um, this little bend plate here with a micro switch touch the body there and it kill it. So this is the kill switch, there's the wire. So you've got very little feeling on your handle there when the engine is idling. You think uh, sometimes you want it to idle and then you just 
push it a little bit too far and then it die. And uh, I don't like that. I want a machine that can push it full down and it must idle. So what I've done is I bend the plate forward or backwards rather and I put here a plate in that is uh, coated with plastic. So when I want to uh, let it die, I just press it forward until that little uh, plate touch the body of the carburetor and it die. So it's a manual switch off. That is a modification from my side. So the machine can idle nice now and that is how I like it. So that was a very frustrating uh, manufacturing uh, default that you get with a machine and the um, other one, other dislike is this machine is a very hard starter from from day one um, you, I know, I remember uh, six pools at least with full choke warm or hot um, meaning hot day temperature um, six pools, five or six pools, then it start. Um, lately it's a little bit quicker, maybe the third uh, pool it will start, but um, it's not an easy starting machine. Um, I don't know why, but it runs perfectly once it started. And the other frustrating one, but it's not for me really issue, but it's, uh, it's not nice, it's got a very small fuel tank, um, with my small grass, you can see outside, I've got a little piece here and in the front as well, a little piece like that and uh, I can twice cut the lawn at the back and the front and then it's close to empty um, so if you've got a huge uh, lawn, lawn, you will have to carry your, your, uh, your fuel with you so this is a bad one. Okay, so this is the what I can tell. Maybe I like the box as well. Um, all the grass end up nice in the back and it's a nice and durable plastic. No problems there whatsoever. The wheels as well is nice sturdy and it's easy to push. And it got the one lever setting for all the wheels which is also nice so further no problems whatsoever mechanically or body wise it's only a few dislikes and, uh, and a few likes about the machine and um, I must say this machine is as I mentioned two years old but um, I really I let's look at the wheels I think if this machine have 10 hours on it or 15 hours it's it's a lot it really the, the, the oil is not dirty yet in two years time let's have a look you can see it just it just go off there you can see this is the original oil not dirt, not black. So it's the not serviced yet. That's how low the hours is. Not run in whatsoever. And let's look at the design of the air filter. You just turn it here. Wait. It comes here. Of easy, as I it got uh, a very nice filter on, very effective, I would say. It fits nice. It's just a, uh, there you are. It's on. I'll just make sure. Guys, let's uh, let's start it up so that you can hear. Okay, let's go.
Pull it full chuck. surprised by the second pool for the start. Okay gentlemen, there you are. Uh, hope you liked the video and uh, see you soon on the next video.